Hi, a quick update. I'm wearing my Portugal shirt today, just for continuity reasons. Um, it does feel a little tighter than it was a week ago. I think I might have had one too many uh, pork sausages in Berlin, you know what I mean? Anyway, here's the world. Villa Real de Santiago Antonio, Moscow. That's all I've done so far. Can you see that? Yes. And by the end of this week, I will have made it all the way through Beijing. So, um, here is the piece of uh, ballast which I picked up at Villa Real de Santo Antonio. I thought I'd lost it at one point, but I've still got it, and it hasn't been confiscated by anyone either. Uh, because when you go, go into a railway station here in Russia, uh, they scan your baggage for explosives or whatever, and they must see this big blob and they must think, what? So, um, I went to Real Russia today. Now, my plug about Real Russia is not a paid plug, it's because I think they're absolutely fantastic. They've helped me so much. They did my, arranged my train from, uh, from Moscow to uh, Irkutsk, onto Ulaanbaatar, onto Beijing. They managed my Mongolian and my Chinese visa. And I went to their office today and I picked up tickets. One for the part through to Irkutsk and one for the part through to Mongolia. Mwah! Nothing can stop me now. Um, I did try one thing, or buy one thing today, and it's here. Kvass. Now I've, I've heard about Kvass. Um, apparently it's a kind of a, a light beer made from fermented rye bread. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Now I don't mind rye bread, and I certainly don't mind beer, so I thought I'd buy one of these and just give it a try. So, um, here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm not. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like rye bread. Here we go. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. It tastes like, almost like, Coca-Cola that's had rye bread dipped in it or something. Very strange to taste. I could do it, it's probably not my preferred choice of drinks, but yeah, at least I won't go thirsty in Russia now. Anyway, um, tonight I'm going to go out and I'm going to do some photography around Red Square at night. I do have a train at 23.45 to catch, so I really, really don't want to miss it. And I have to do some more shopping, buy some noodles, some drinks, some sausages and some cheese for the train. So um, I must get moving and I'll speak to you uh, when I'm at the station.
Moscow is a very busy, very noisy, very windy city. Um, today is day two. Uh, tonight the train leaves at 23.45. So I have to get some supplies for tonight's train. Uh, I'm on the Trans-Siberian for four nights, so I really must get organized. But uh, today and yesterday I managed to achieve quite a few things. I managed to get a haircut. I managed to get my train tickets, which were from the real Russia office here in Moscow. They couldn't be issued in the UK for some reason. And I think I'm just about ready to go. So I will see you on board the Trans-Siberian. Looks like we're on our way. Thank you. 